Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jimmy Got The Juice. I'm here with an updated makeup tutorial for you. I know this video has been highly requested by the girls, so I had to come and give it to you guys. And if you guys see me looking away from the camera at any point, it's because I'm looking in my mirror, because how else am I going to see the beauty that I'm giving y'all? There's no other way. First is skin. This packaging is everything. I use the MAC Skin Canvas Balm. Guys, this is like my holy grail. I take about this much. And I just... You guys can see the cream is highly concentrated. Like, what's that? I felt like I felt a piece of hair. I mean, as we can see, guys, I've gone from dry to moisturized. Yeah, it's chewing. I'm going to go in with my primer. I'm going to buy the big version, but I got this as a tester at a super drug event. Yeah, I use this like every single day. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer Plus. It's fantastic. I, it's similar to that TikTok kind of... Um, oh. It's similar to that TikTok... Um, primer that kind of that sticky red one that you guys see on tiktok but i never use it but i probably think this is better do you know what i mean like because elf know what they be doing like it just makes your face so like tacky and like ready for the makeup i love it use a tad bit of my old fave now this is also dirty oh my god i really need to learn how to clean my makeup but this is the mac plus studio fix matte fine 12 hour primer girl if you got somewhere special to go okay this is the all over face primer when you but i just use it on my nose because i get really sweaty here so i just rub that in as extra but yeah like this primer guys when you've got a wedding a birthday um i'll insert a picture here of my birthday makeup guys get at your girl always like find something I love and then stop using it suddenly for some reason and then rediscover it and realize why the hell did I ever stop using it? I use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Macau. And I also use the NARS Macau in the Soft Matte. A combination of these two. Foundation brush I've had since university and it's from Primark and it's 10 out of 10 and I'll never stop using it. But if you want a high-end foundation brush, Zoeva baby. And half my face so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I don't go too high up because obviously I'm wearing a lace front as you guys can see and there's nothing worse than getting makeup on your lace because it just ruins your whole wig. I also developed this thing guys called Tinea Versicolor so as you can see from the middle of my face there's like a lighter patch in the middle. It's like mini vitiligo. I don't know how I got it. Some people say it's like he you can get like skin rashes immune system i don't have the best immune system and stuff so yeah but like this foundation covers it up perfectly like she's the love of my life and look how much like the product just spreads like butter like this is 10 out of 10 guys oh. my neck has been like this my whole life since i was little everybody used to tell me i had a dark ass neck which is true but it's okay it is what it is. The next we're gonna use, if you guys can see, the Maybelline Eraser Concealer in the shade Tan. Guys, this concealer is my also my holy grail. Like, can you guys see like? It's literally like bar, like. And then I'm gonna use the Holly Boone, guys. TikTok influenced me again. Holly Boone, I've been watching Holly Boone for years. Love her, love her, love her, love her. She's been that girl. And she made makeup and that impresses me more than life itself. And it's hard to come out with a good makeup product in this time, this day and age. This is the shade SF 2.5. Um, you're gonna be scared because it is very light, but I only use a little dot because I like a very bright under eye every day when I'm going out. It doesn't matter. This is what I do. So I just apply that on top of the bits I've already kind of 
concealed. Can you guys see? Yeah, so I just apply it on the bits that I've already concealed. So this is like screenshot. Okay, <laughs> you gotta let that baby dry. all the girlies are blending out their concealer with brushes these days it, it's never worked for me i've tried and tried and tried again it's not it's not for me i'm gonna be a beauty blender girl to the day i collapse on the floor so yeah let's just blend this out Now, when you're blending out your under eye ladies, I'm gonna need you to concentrate in the corner and blend upwards. When you blend downwards, depending on your face shape, you just lose the whole shape of the concealer you were trying to achieve. Like if I was blending downwards right now, this whole bit here would be all the way down. Like I like to keep it high, especially because I have a round face, how it's like lifted up. You see how it's like lifted it up, like, okay. If you, especially if you're black, you usually have those deep pockets in the side of your nose. Remember to just move your nostril over just one time. You know what I'm saying? Just one time and get up in there. Okay. So guys, I use the Made by Mitchell blush in the shade Peach Sugar. Just look at her, man. Look at this shade. Look at this shade. Guys, I'm a huge blush fan. I think blush just makes me look prettier. And guys, so I've got a new one. I got a new one in the shade um, A Shy Boy. And it's made by Mitchell himself's favorite shade, okay? And I'm gonna mix it with my peach sugar. And I think this is gonna become my new combo. Let's just swatch. Oh, you guys seeing that color? That's a bit of hair glue from earlier. Guilty. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna put too much of this though. I'm going to put it towards the bottom as well. Okay, I know it's going to blend out good. Blend out my liquid blush with um, a sponge. And I always felt like the sponge took the makeup off. But ever since I started using this like kind of angled brush, guys, I can never go back. Like, she keeps all the product on your cheeks. You'll see in a minute, right? So let's start blending this out because I don't leave this down to dry. And I always put it at the high point of my cheekbones as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This color together. <gasps> Guys, I'm sold. I just blend all the way up, up into everything. Go back in with my beauty blender and I just blend out my concealer again. I have the worst blending I can see the face, sorry. And now, just blend that out. Next to the blush. So that it's now more gradient, you know. It was a bit like in your face and we don't do that. But now I'm going to go into contouring slash bronzing. I don't go too ham with the contour because I just don't need to in my opinion. But... Oh, that was about to be the wrong shade. Guys, next we have the Chem Beauty. They sent me this concealer in the shade Mocha a couple of weeks ago, and I've been using it ever since. So shout out Chem. Shout out Chem, because, you know, thank you for sending me the concealer. So just going to put some light dots around the forehead, the side of our face here, my chin. Because I got a big burger chin and I'd like to contour it, okay? Okay, thanks. With my Sheen brush set, this brush, guys, is very dense, very soft. And yeah, I don't know if they have actual names. So I just contour upwards again, big round face. You want to contour upwards. I contour my eye area. And I'm just starting off with one side so you can literally see the difference it makes for my 
face in particular sorry so it's just easier to blend out the whole chin okay so this is one side of the contour blended out so you can see how it's now just snatched my face back especially coming from someone who's got a round face like it just adds dimension it adds dimension i stopped doing it for a while but i'm back on the contouring crack pipe and i don't know why i ever left i told you guys see this is what i stopped doing stuff for a while and i just revert back and i never regret it because stick to what you know stick to the stuff you know here again um in the shade sorrel the shade sorrel like the drink if you're caribbean you know i just put i know it looks dark guys i know it looks scary i know that looks scary but when i blend it out you'll see and i blend this out with the bottom of my sponge because i just think it's the most it just is the most natural looking blend when you oh going to setting now so laura mercy yeah if you guys have been og on my channel you know i've been using this powder since university everything i do i've been using it for years i use the translucent powder i know some of the girls love um huda i'm um, big up huda but i use laura okay just to make sure there's no creases before i put this powder on that forehead chin around my mouth the bridge of my nose all there i use that all there and this is how i bake okay guys another mental note for y'all this is how I bake some powder and just lightly tap that translucent powder everywhere around my mouth and just blend out that bit there. Because when you're baking, if you wherever you leave it is going to leave the harshest imprint, yeah? And I like a harsh imprint under my eye, but I don't want the imprint to drag down to the rest of my face. So I just blend out the side bits and I literally leave this little patch here. And trust me, you'll see it's going to make a difference. Holy grail moment again. Mocha, mummy, circle it like this. I use about this much. And guys, watch the magic. I contour that bit of my eye again. Guys, I love her. And guys, this is what I mean by don't be afraid if at first everything looks light because as you guys can see, it's getting darker and darker as I go on. Like it does seamlessly come back together once everything is set and beautiful. So I use this L Passion Cosmetics blush in the shade. I think it's Peony Passion or something like that. But as you guys can see, another to the pan product. I use this religiously. I think she is. It's also black owned. So big up my good sister that made this brand. It's black owned. And it's 10 out of 10. I put a generous amount on that. Really scrape out that pan. And you guys can see. Look how lovely that blush looks. Oh. <laughs> okay. Like, guys, it's just a perfect blush for me. Like, I just love it. And it complements my blush. So good. I just drag it all the way up to the eyelids. I put a little bit on my nose, but in a minute after I've contoured my nose.
I'm just dusting off my eyebrow section. Revolution Duo Brow Pencil. I've been using this for 45,000 years. Again, if you followed me for a long time, you know that I've been using this also since university. Like I've been doing makeup guys for a long time. I used to do makeup at Selfridges. I used to be a makeup artist, but I retired. I mean, <laughs> I've been doing brows for a long time, okay, so I can do them quickly. If you're a beginner, don't be daunted by how fast I just did my eyebrows. You should have seen what my eyebrows used to look like. If I can find a picture, I'll insert it. Jump scare. They've got to be eyebrow gel kind of stick. Guys, I was supposed to buy a new one before this because I push it back through my brows. Then I push it up and yeah. I like to do this after I've drawn on my brow because I feel like it takes away some of the product in the best way. Oh, look at that brow, y'all. Yeah, as you guys can see, though, by the minute the powder is being absorbed, like, you'll see how good this looks after. My powder, I like to go in with the Soft Focus Loose Powder by H&B Cosmetics in the shade Translucent. Like, it's is so tiny like you have to dust it off to death like i just really dust it off a lot before i use it because i don't want another bright highlight you know what i'm saying i already got one so i kind of just use that to brighten it up Guys, next I'm going in with my e.l.f. Um, what's it called? Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. I use this before I fix, so yeah. Oh! So I just spray this generous amount. <laughs> and guys, it's so fine. You guys can see how it just melts the powder in because... I use a lot of powders when I'm doing my makeup and I just like for it to melt in. The um, 3503 and I go in with my black shade for my under eye waterline. Now you can use any eyeshadow palette with black in it. It doesn't matter, that's just the one I use. like to just bring it round you guys can see like it's add a little bit more dimension to my eye because I've got small eyes so I like to draw kind of attention to them um you can use any eyeliner I draw in my signature beauty marks So that's why I draw them in. I think it just brings the face back together and it just makes me look a bit more human again. MUA highlighter in the shade Pink Shimmer. Also used this for years. You guys see that? I mix it with my T Glitz highlighter that I've also had for 
4,000 years. And I just like to put it on the tip of my nose, my nose ridge and my upper lip. That's just where I like to do it. You know, some people saw like the whole highlight on the cheek. I like to keep that area kind of matte. Okay. Revolution Lift and Define Mascara. Hey guys, this mascara is so good. These are the baby girl lashes in the style Smize. I wear these lashes religiously. She does the best eyelashes. I don't care what anybody else has to say. If you think your eyelashes are better, step to the flower. But guys, look how that's just lifted my eyes. Like, are you joking me? Best lashes out. Ask Naomi. Okay. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I have a mini one because I only use it for five seconds, every makeup spray. My foundation brush here. And just... Tap it on the edge of my face just to bring that color back in like right? yet again if you've been following me there's no other lip liner i'm ever going to use that i think will ever compare to mac people can try they've tried they've tried but is it the same don't think so Bring it right across the bottom, as you lot can see. Right on the bottom, like, all the way down. Because it's like, look how dynamic it's made my lips look. Okay, now I'm going to go in again. It's not a lipstick, it's not, but I'm going to use it anyway. So I'm going to go in with the Made by Mitchell Can't Cope With Coral. Perfect peach for a lip combo. My kind of lip combo for sure. Sorry guys, I just had to smudge out the edge of it. So. I've been looking for the perfect nude. The Perfect Nude by Revolution Lip Shake in the shade Peach Delight. Guys, I think this is part of their, their permanent collection. I hope it is because you guys are about to see. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's not even fair. <laughs> Perfect lip gloss like this lip combo. Holy Grail, the queen herself, the queen herself, yeah, Krylin. The day I discovered this from TikTok about, a I feel like it's been like six months, so I don't even know. My makeup has never come off again, not for the club, not a raid, not a dinner, the underground, sweat, trials, brand events, because you know all brand events are held in the basement dungeon of everywhere and there's no air con. Don't know why they do that too. I don't know why they do that to us, but you know, life of an influency. But, guys, now this does smell like toxic hairspray. You are gonna choke, but get used to it. <coughs> oh, I did tell you guys you were gonna choke. That is the finished look. This is the finished look. Guys, I hope you enjoy Those two little bits are looking frazzled right now But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed This tutorial 
like comment and subscribe and tell me if you want more makeup tutorials i hope you guys really like this one because honestly it took an arm and a leg to even find the strength to film it but yeah i hope you guys got some tips even if five of you watch this video and love it that's good enough for me because honestly it's time to get in our soft glam era ladies and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.